Now, before I get into this week's question about Colin Trevorrow being out as director of episode 9 and who should replace him, let me quickly recap your responses from last week's question about there maybe being too much Star Wars. And once again, there were a ton of great responses, and one of these weeks, I really am going to find the time to make a separate video to highlight more of those responses. And if that's something you'd really like to see me do, or something you're maybe not so interested in, let me know in the comments below either way. Anyway, the top comment actually came to us from Andrew Odette, and I hope I'm saying your name right here. And even though it was slightly off topic from what I was actually asking about, he still touched on something that clearly a lot of people have an issue with. And to summarize, and if you want to read the full comment, just go ahead and give the video a pause. He's sick and tired of those here on YouTube who try to pander to the numerous Star Wars fans out there by creating videos with clickbait titles that really have nothing new to say and are made by people only interested in making money. And if you saw an ad before this very video, you obviously know that I do make some money off of YouTube. And as I say in my response to his comment, right now the money I do make helps me to justify to my fiance and all my friends and family the amount of time I put into doing this. But even if I didn't make a dime off of YouTube, I'd still do it because, simply put, I love it. I love Star Wars and I love getting to talk about it with all of you. Because, I don't know about you, but I don't know many Star Wars fans in my day-to-day -day life. At least, not many who can or want to talk about it and discuss it as much as I do. My fiancé is pretty much the only one I know who has anywhere near the passion for it I do, and she reaches her limit of talking Star Wars way quicker than I do. Hell, I don't even know if I have a limit when it comes to talking Star Wars. Anyway, my motive behind starting this channel was not to be the next big thing on YouTube. It was to meet a few other people like me who loved Star Wars and wanted to talk about it. And to be honest, I didn't know if I'd ever reach 20 subscribers, much less nearly 20,000. And to those of you who have hit that subscribe button, or even just randomly watch my videos from time to time, or even if this is your very first one you've watched, thank you. Doing this is truly an honor and a privilege to me, and I don't ever want to take it for granted. So I invite any of you watching this now to call me out if you ever feel like I'm losing my way as I go forward. Because yes, I would like to do this more, and put out more videos, and maybe even touch on different aspects of Star Wars. But I don't ever want to become like one of those channels who forgets they have a comments section, and only looks at their revenue reports. Anyway, now that I'm done with that little tangent, I'm again going to thank everyone who watched and commented on last week's video and apologize for not going into it more. But I do want to get to this week's question on who you think should direct episode 9 now that Colin Trevorrow is out. And why is he out? Well, it seems like, just like with Lord and Miller who were fired from the Han Solo project, he could not get along with Kathleen Kennedy, president of Lucasfilm, and there were many conflicts about the script and the direction the movie should take and that could be taken one of a couple ways. First, it could be a very good thing, and Kennedy is saving us from a potential disaster, which I think was certainly the case with the firing of Lord Miller. As I've said before on the matter, I think they were going to try and make the Han Solo anthology film too much like a comedy, and I for one don't think that would fit what Han Solo's character would be like at that point in his life. And for all we know, Trevorrow's script and direction for episode 9 may not have been very good. His most recent release, The Book of Henry, was a big dud both with critics and audiences, and the only Trevorrow movie I've personally ever seen was Jurassic World, which was fine and all, and looked fantastic, but I can't say I was wowed by the story itself. And even though Star Wars certainly needs to be a visual spectacle, more importantly, it needs to have a great story, and perhaps Trevorrow wasn't finding that great story. Then there's another way to look at this entirely, that maybe even though Lucasfilm claims they want to bring in all these talented writers and directors to shape the future of Star Wars, that's not really the case at all. That Kathleen Kennedy and the others at Lucasfilm and or Disney already have a vision of the future of Star Wars, and they only want those who share their vision and will follow their direction. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing, nor am I saying it's a good thing. Keep in mind that Kathleen Kennedy worked under George Lucas for years, and she was his hand-picked successor to run Lucasfilm. You may have never really heard her name till lately, but rest assured, she knows Star Wars and will try to honor George Lucas' vision of it. Still, out of the five released or known Star Wars movies in this new era under Disney and Kathleen Kennedy, there has now been an issue with the directors of three of them. Because keep in mind Rogue One also had issues, and there were massive rewrites and reshoots for that movie that changed Gareth Edwards' original version of it. But again, this is all in how you want to view it. Some might say they are taking each of these movies very seriously, as they should, and care a great deal about the quality and integrity of Star Wars. 
Or you could say they're keeping all these talented people reined in and only want those who will fall in line and do what they're told. And that then brings us to Episode 8's writer and director Ryan Johnson and the question if maybe he should now direct Episode 9, or if maybe J.J. Abrams should be brought back, or someone new brought in entirely. Now, starting with Ryan Johnson, well, we haven't seen his first Star Wars movie yet, so it's hard to say if he should come back and do 9. However, I'd almost say for the sake of cohesion and continuity alone, let him do it, assuming he wants to, of course. And what I mean by that is, I'd like Episode 8 and 9 to feel like the same story and have a more or less same tone. Because I think we can rest assured that 8 is going to feel a lot different than 7 did. But I don't know that I would now want 9 to feel different from 8. Because one gripe I have about the original trilogy, and maybe gripe is the wrong word, so let me say something that sticks out at me, is the fact that all three of those movies feel very different from one another. Maybe you personally like that or never really thought about it. But the stark contrast between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back in particular is very jarring. They feel like completely different types of movies. Though, again, I don't want to call it a complaint or even say it detracts from either of those movies. It's just something I'd prefer if they stayed away from in the future. Even though, as I said, that's already not going to be the case, thanks 7 and 8 are likely going to feel very different from one another. And speaking of Episode 7, there's of course the idea of bringing back J.J. Abrams to Direct 9. Some will no doubt hate that idea, others will love it. For me, I'm neutral on it, because yes, even though I like Episode 7, I have criticized it quite a bit. However, I don't know how much of the blame I put on J.J. and how much I think it was Lucasfilm telling him exactly what kind of movie they wanted. Again, we've already heard of so many clashes between Kennedy and the directors of these movies that it leads me to believe that J.J. Abrams simply played ball and made the movie he was told to make. And I don't mean that in any disparaging way towards J.J. He was given the honor of making a Star Wars movie and, in exchange, did what was asked of him by Lucasfilm. He gave them the movie they wanted. And, more or less, Episode 7 is a good movie and a great welcoming back to Star Wars for those who needed it. My issue was, I didn't need a welcoming back and it was a retread of the previous stories, again aimed at those who needed a refresher, and one of its other main purposes seemed to be to generate big questions for those more hardcore fans, like myself and probably you watching this, who didn't need that refresher. Instead of being something new, original, and a more self-contained story that just left us wanting more because it was that damn good. So anyway, do I think JJ could direct episode 9? Sure, I think he probably could and it would be a fine movie. But even without having seen 8 yet, I still think I'd rather have Ryan Johnson at the helm and let him finish out this story and this trilogy. Because I really don't know if I'd want them to bring in someone completely new. Someone who hasn't been in the loop the whole time and taken part in no doubt countless meetings and talks about this sequel trilogy, like Trevorrow had and like JJ probably still does. In other words, unless they get someone extremely talented, I'm not sure they should bring in someone, hand them a project of this magnitude, and this important to so many people, and say to them, here, do what you can with all this. Well, that's all I've got for you this time. Now I'd love to hear what you think of this whole situation, and who you think should direct episode 9, and why. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on how much freedom do you think these directors are actually being given by Lucasfilm, and Kathleen Kennedy in particular. So leave a comment below, and let's talk some Star Wars. And as usual, I will read all your comments, and reply to as many as I possibly can. I also will either do a follow-up video or go over this question at the start of next week's discussion video. And speaking of the next discussion, if you have a great question you'd love for us all to tackle, tell me what it is and maybe it'll be our next topic. And until next time, thanks for watching.